Caesar is Ape's most complex character, and in this part 1 video, we will look at the character and understand who he is. It becomes clear that Caesar in Rise is all about belonging in the world. At times in the movie, he is shunned by humans and apes. His journey in Rise is all about what his purpose is and the freedom he desires. I'm not here to discuss the themes of the movie, but an understanding of Caesar as a character. Caesar is an ape that had the drug ALZ-112 passed down from his deceased mother who had been experimented on to find a cure for Alzheimer's. James Franco's character, Will Rodman, takes care of him and realises that Caesar is no normal ape. From there, Will teaches him sign language and records his progress. During the five year period, Caesar grows incredibly smart. However, after attacking a bystander who was threatening Will's dad, Caesar is taken away to an ape sanctuary. Here is where Caesar begins to understand his role. This is a common theme that was first introduced when Caesar asked who he is. In the ape sanctuary, Caesar learns his role as an inferior ape to the rest. His human lifestyle had blocked his evolution to be as smart as an ape. Apes have their own way of living and Caesar doesn't understand this. His difference in appearance and demeanour is what separates him from the rest. However, his understanding of the human world is what helps him to create a plan. Caesar forges a coup and guides all apes to their freedom. The suffering he is inflicted is an eye opener for the suffering all other apes receive. He has never witnessed the bad side of the ape life. He was told by Will about the experiments on other apes that there is a difference from hearing something and witnessing something. His understanding of the human world and the cruelty inflicted pushes Caesar away from the human lifestyle. This is represented by the clothes he wears in the ape sanctuary and how over the course of the movie they are taken away. But Caesar doesn't hate humans. His compassion for them both, apes and humans, is what separates him from all the rest. This is due to his relationship with James Franco and the dad. His love received is what guides his view. Caesar has seen the good and bad in humans and also in apes. This dual interaction is what makes Caesar realise human and ape are not that different. A key theme of Caesar is belonging. He doesn't belong with the humans and he at first didn't belong with the apes. Ultimately, it was his genius, which is human curated, that gave him a dominant edge to become a leader. Caesar fights for freedom, but it was the capturing and testing that led him to be who he is. I believe that Caesar knows this and is part of the reason he respects the human race. Without them, he wouldn't be here. For Caesar, it isn't about ruling the world, it's about their freedom to live their lives. Caesar's character arc is built on the moment he sees himself as a pet. He becomes more singular and forms who he is. Before, Caesar didn't do much. He was just an intelligent ape longing for some fresh air. But when he questions who he is, that's when he becomes the Caesar of now. An ape that has existentialism isn't that different from a human with existentialism. We both want to know our place in the world. This was the biggest factor for Caesar changing. In his time at the ape sanctuary, he became more aware of the harsh realities apes live in. His motives were becoming clear and with his enhanced ability, Caesar acted and became someone with a goal. Allowing him to focus on this goal gave Caesar a pathway to becoming a leader. He tactfully gets every ape to the woods and to get their freedom. It is his interaction that builds Caesar as a person. Caesar's relationships is what makes him. James Franco makes him realise humans are good. Tom Felton's character makes him realise that some are bad. This is also the same with apes. Some apes make him realise that they are bad, pushing him towards home with Franco, but other apes make him realise that some are good. This dual perspective of apes and humans is the reason Caesar does not kill or tries not to. His interactions guide his thinking and guides his motives. This is why Caesar is the cleverest animal in the series, because he processes what he sees and who he meets to come up with a fair judgement. So he takes action because that's what his life's about. That's why he was saved, to lead a rebellion and save the apes from slavery. He doesn't do it for himself, but Caesar does what he does because he deems it the right thing to do. He had lived a very good life, a life that he wants to share with his fellow species. The pain he felt closing the gate on Will was him making the step away from human life so that he can build his own life. Caesar understands that to live his own life, he must not live a human life. It is clear that Caesar is not fully explored in this first movie. He builds his reputation but the film doesn't delve in deep with his emotional connections with the human world and the ape world. At this point in the movie, Caesar is just becoming who he is, a leader that wants peace. But this is explored even further in Dawn. For this movie, Caesar is the outcast that grows into the leader everyone looks up to. His intelligence and compassion is what defines him more in the sequel, which is why in part 2, we look even closer into Caesar and his character in Dawn of the Planet of the Apes. Take your stinking bar off me, you damn dirty ape! No! 